this is Itchy from Team Wise Guys and I'm bringing my top 32 deck profile from the Swedish Nationals 2018. Now before I get into the deck profile I have, do have to apologize for uh, shading un unintentionally on stream. I activated the drone token uh, so, and summoned it in attack position when it should be summoned in defense position. Uh, and essentially I would attack for it. And yeah, that was just a brain malfunctioning of, of my part. Uh, so I do apologize it I always now summon it in defense position uh, but uh, quick quick the, through my matches uh, it was seven rounds of Swiss uh, which is pretty big for me bringing it over here uh, round one was dark magician he didn't even have a proper sleep so I bought, bought him after after the match uh, Dino lights one in round two uh, it, the conductor is an annoying card to deal with but widow anchor is, is the best out. Um, True Draco, this he opened anti spell uh, and I couldn't play him one game two. I I destroyed I, I destroyed him with uh, with the, both a special combo that I will show you show you in the deck. Uh, and in game three he uh, did I think he bricked of some sort or he got. Rolled, I don't remember anymore, but I just won that because it was pretty easy. Um, uh, round, round four uh, was was the stream, and I apologize to my opponents uh, for it. It was a versus spiral, but uh, I get to I get to showcase my both the combo and and everything that I have been testing for. So uh, yeah. Uh, round five and round six was two tricksters. Uh, it's a grinder matchup, and by by hard one of the hardest matchups. And light stage is an annoying card because you, when you reset your cards with with motor roll, you they know exactly what cards they're gonna hit, and they're gonna send it to graveyard, and uh, they're gonna be banished afterwards. So yeah, uh, and I lost to a misplay. Convince Trickstars in in round in, in round six, which I come back to a, a little bit later, and then in and also I lo Ghost Bell was a card that I also would lo made made me lose a whole turn, but then then I lost advantage completely. And round seven I got extra link, and even though I I play Cyber Dragon in the in the deck uh, or Tomb Cyber Dragon, sorry. Uh, I got extra linked, but and I, but I, it wasn't out. But I got trolled, so I didn't have any chance. So, uh, without further ado, let, let's get into the deck profile. So the deck I was playing, as I mentioned before, I played Sky Strikers or Brandish, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think that includes Free Ray, uh, the main monster in the deck. Uh, I like it all about her because she, she, if you destroy your area zero in battle phase which I tended to do really much, or uh, so summon her tribute of special summon special summon uh, ex extra deck monster from the extra deck and g get your engine or your advantage going. Um, it was also confirmed that uh, it's a misprint error so it can't contribute as a cost. But uh, main part why why she's so good, she's a safe searcher for for from Rhoda, from from engage if you if you know your opponent, if you want to play a round role, which 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 I did many times, um, also tribute herself to, to uh, on summon when they try to cherish you is really great. Uh, for hand traps, I played six of them, which was free ash and free draw. Uh, ash is by far the best best card in the uh, in the whole game right now. It hits everything. Uh, Droll for me was okay or meh or what do you want to call it. Uh, when I saw it, it was it it was always got uh, what is it called call called by the grave uh, or it d didn't even matter because I already had game that that, that turn. So um, I don't know uh, what I sh if I should still play Droll. It's called a stop Skooky and it it's, uh, stops. It can stop turn versus versus trickster is really good, um, but I do consider playing Gamma right now because I play as you see the Tune Table Engine, uh, which helps against Drawler really much. Uh, but 
call is an uh, other spell in the graveyard, so I don't know. Uh, I didn't opt opt to play the what's it called uh, the cherries uh, for because our naturals could be really really rogue based. So I didn't want to have a card that could just be dead in my whole deck and don't do nothing. So lucky lucky for me, uh, it, uh, I. I was great, I didn't did it, play Sherry's. And then the Toon Side Rogan together with the uh, Toon Table of Contents. Uh, this, this card was amazing uh, when it didn't get drawn. Uh, the only thing that got drawn was, as, as mentioned, in round 7, uh, which uh, was. Uh, I'm kind of lucky it didn't get, but it ma it makes engage a, p a part of greed. Um, I wanted to play this instead over the uh, foolish bird of good engine because I'm uh, extra linking is a problem uh, for this deck. I feel, uh, and it, it, you can just if you have Ibli on your field and you have this, you can, and you're afraid of draw uh, as I did. I search for tune table for this directly. Attributed off for, for for an extra link, but uh, what there was some times when I didn't have Ibli uh, in testing and uh, both in at, at during the tournament. So I would just search this, uh, spread, uh, add this, and then I would get rolled. And if I didn't turn an extender, I, I would could have clear, cleared his board, but I didn't get anything to extend my my place with. So I would just summon it and uh, contact fusion. So. Um, it's okay in theory, but I, I really like it over, over goods though. Uh, even though if I should play this, I should still I play should play call or gamma. Uh, I don't know what to take out yet. And for the tech card, the Nightmare Corruptor Ibli. This is a part of a combo that uh, helped me perform really well during during the event, whole event. It caught many of God, and uh, I will showcase it in a minute. Uh, for three off, uh, three drone, three widow anchor, and the free engage. So engage is one of the ridiculous cards I've seen. Uh, being not once but two part part of greed is really incredible. Uh, uh, if you're and widow anchor, this is. Uh, essentially one of your win conditions and uh, just able to negate something and then take control of, of thing and then use it in a link based format is by far a crazy thing to do especially when it's searchable mind control uh, and then drone uh, if you don't see raid this card uh, this card is a second ray for you and uh, this is a mainly part of, of a combo uh, or extender, as I mentioned before, uh, to to get to your to your board presence that you want to have with 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 this with this, especially when you try to go the combo. Basically, it's it's the whole it's the whole deck. The the those nine cards. Uh, area zero. Uh, I didn't want to play free because uh, I would it would. Would break then, but at two off, uh, it was great. Uh, but it was not so great because I opted to go uh, doing a second build and play uh, cards like evilly matches. And if this card was stuck on the field, I couldn't use my evilly match. So it was, I don't know. Uh, and I, the only thing I want to have a way to clear this out was by sending it uh, by destroying it with e with my. With spell or trap removal from both side and main deck, so but I like it most because I could uh, destroy it in the battle phase, summon ray, attack, and get deal uh, about more than three k damage in in one turn. Um, but also the excavation effect on target ray is is pretty neat too. Uh, for the one offs, one multi roll, uh, spell of judgment. Uh, jamming waves, afterburns. Uh, these cards are. I would say it's also that makes the whole deck because 
Yummy Wish I like more because I can set my old zero and destroy it and at the same time destroy it on the card. Uh, and I understand why people play play more than one afterburner um, because people playing floodgates and then destroying a monster and a floodgate is really good. Uh, multi roll is the same. With, I had the same problem with with the same as zero. It was stuck on the field when it, it and didn't do anything when I had evil and I want, wanted to even lead them in, instead. So I don't know uh, what I should continue do, uh, how I should have that my build, but. Uh, We'll see. Eagle Booster, uh, Hercules Base, and Shock Cannon was the other, th was the last three offsets I played. Eagle Booster was uh, there for when I wanted to go set. As I said, I'm blind second, so I could perform. I could make sure that my cards will will get through whatever whatever the cost was. So and uh, and its second effect is just it's not so bad either because if you're in a middle match and they attack you, uh, you're your ace link monsters, you get to usually summon Ray and they will attack again, um, or against Conductor or Purgatory or whatever you whatever threat you have on your field. Uh, it will not get destroyed and you can get, float your to the other cards in the next turn. Uh, so the the thinking was really good. Uh, I, this came up once uh, when I when I have performed my whole combo and get get to my MVP of, of the whole weekend, which I show you in a second. Hercules base discard the weight wins you the wins you grind games and uh, both both mirror. I unfortunately I didn't play it against mirror. It would be fun to outgrind them, uh, but its second effect came it came clutch when I was. Uh, when my opponent activates scapegoat was in, tricks, in the trickster matchup, and I would equip this card to Kagari and attack with it twice and draw two cards, and essentially he would only have one token since I had Kagari attacking twice and one other monster, and and uh, short cannon this card was really great for me, uh, like it has a disruption, but but mostly as a card to special summon from from my opponent's graveyard and use it. Uh, essentially, some special something a link monster, and then use it. So yeah, uh, that's that's mostly for the brandish spells. Um, I'm thinking of still playing eagle booster. Uh, I do need to test more of it, but we'll see. For two of uh, two terraforming, I this was really good. I might bump out it up to three because. Uh, it was good when I saw it, but uh, at the same time, it's a really heavy draw target. And so, if they would terraform and draw, uh, obviously you could have done much safer than go for search for Ray, get get her out normal, and then if you could draw, you just pass it as I did m m many times. Um, but yeah, playing as a free playing free, I could I could see it, um, and it's never dead because you can just set set one, activate the the multi roll or zero, and if you resolve it, if you resolve it, it will be sent to grave, and you have a free spell card in grave. So essentially, if you have open two, you would now have two spell cards in the grave. So I could see why the discard can be played as free off. Uh, to MST, uh, MST was really great because it was a free free removal of area zero, uh, both in battle phase and a free spot. Also, I didn't want to play Twin Twister because, as I have been saying, it it was pretty really much rogue. Uh, it's known for much rogue, sorry. Uh, so if I would have played Twin Twister, I would have m maybe blindly run into Awakening the Dragon, which I was glad, even though I had an out for it. But uh, it's not always the case. They, I always had the out. But so yeah, MST was re really good. Um, I think I should bump it up to three because I want to see it more. But we'll see ha how. Uh, Rhoda, uh, self-explanatory. So it gets your ray and sa safe uh, under draw. Uh, also, it can be a great bait. Uh, one, uh, one times. Uh, as I said, I play evenly. Uh, this card was both great and useless, uh, especially when I was stuck with, a, with with the field spell and the multi roll. Uh, so I don't know if I should still play this as free off uh, or just side it. 
But I do, do really like his interaction of how, how they can go second because of this gun. Because uh, against Trickster you can just uh, blow out there if they well, if they play very back row heavy. So you can get a re get, get away scapegoats. They can you can bait out reincarnations or something. And always during the Tricksters you fake your battle fake fake you have even match and they and they will reincarnate you and they unbreak your hand or something. So yeah, Evilly was uh, okay. Uh, it was, I think it was more alive than dead. I'm not so sure, sure yet. Uh, and then the last two was two impermanence uh, Shadow Salinas uh, that I got to borrow borrow the last one. Uh, but this card is was okay. But when I saw it, it was the same as draw. I already had, I already would go for game or. Um, it only came clutch against Trickstars when I neg negated a Candina and he didn't have a, have a li licorice or something. Uh, but, but it could be really good to shutting down, shutting down a floodgate or something on, on, your, on your turn. And it's a go and it's good card you can go both fa first and second, which uh, I really like it. May maybe I should get a third, I could just only get, get, get my hands on two. Uh, for the extra deck... Yeah. Played, of course, three Shizuku and three Kagari. Um, I think Shizuku is much more great, especially in the Trickstar matchup, because it gets, get, gets little bell, uh, decreased attack, which don't, makes that you don't lose 3000 uh, life points in one turn, which is ridiculous, and then they lose 400, 400 or 800, depending on how many licorice they have on the field. Uh, but yeah, um, and the end fish play with multi front roll with this card is uh, really amazing. Said, said, but by both setting the uh, engage from grave to and search another engage, so you have to to engage or uh, use the uh, what is it called uh, the widow anchor on to search after Shizuku and effect in end phase target herself then. And you will trigger the multi roll and set the widow anchor again. So, uh, yeah, but Shizuku is one of my favorite, uh, one of my better. Favorite. Kagari is, uh, is really great too, but I just like Shizuku better, especially in the trickster, because it was, I just realized it's the hardest matchup. And of course, Mega Fleet Dragon, because I play, played it, the Toon Cyber, Cyber Dragon. Um, in theory, it was good. Um, it's just a shame that Roll exists, uh, or and I didn't play Gamma or or Cold, which I do regret now. Uh, Nightmares, uh, Unicorn and Phoenix. Uh, you could say it's self-explanatory, but there Phoenix is a really important part of my combo that I've been, I've been talking about, uh, since I can b both clear floodgates or and get to Mermaid and from which I play free of, which I now don't can for some reason find my free of. So it seems it seems strange, but it, it it's it's a part of a combo. Uh, and unicorn uh, is because he's a free spot removal, and I when I perform uh, the combo, I get to draw another card and and spin a card, floodgate or anything, so uh, I could play Cerberus instead because it's a link to and much easier to make Unicorn, but uh, in order, Unicorn does, using Unicorn hits floodgates, which was my main goal. So, for the combo, I've been talking about now for quite a while, a while now. Uh, you just need a way to summon Phoenix. Uh, you can activate this effect, but I recommend you should not. And it's and it, it's good to go first and second too. So uh, if you have Phoenix and and you don't have normal summon, it's important you you can't normal summon the same turn. So the thing is, you do is you summon Phoenix, linking away. Into Mermaid. I activate Mermaid uh, on summon effect, the picture card, to summon out Nightmare Corruptor Ibli. Uh, then you, you link her away into Nightmare, second Nightmare Mermaid, 
Uh, activate my e-police effect, special summon it in this zone on, to on your opponent's side of the field. So it points at this because it's really important because you're, from here you need to go to the Akashic. Akashic will now bounce this card. And here's important wh why you should. It's important that you can't normal summon at the same turn because you can't pull it off this turn, off this and otherwise. So you would normal summon this, activate her effect, special summoning Phoenix, and now you have Akashic pointing out on, on Phoenix. So you can activate her excavation effect, which I did many times, and it came clutch because I once called Ash and got an Ash, uh, but from here. As I said, you could go these, these three, or this two, I mean, uh, for Unico. And then pitch a card, draw a card, uh, and spin something back, which, is, which was really great. And then link these cards into the two MVPs of the whole weekend, Bomber, Topology Bomber Dragon and Borlo Dragon. Borlo Dragon uh, was... King Clutch was this Draco, they couldn't doubt it, so it was essentially a, a scoop, but uh, otherwise I'm gonna summon it in another round it was this Draco, it got popped, so yeah, it, it happens. But Bomber Dragon was by far the best uh, Electric Master that I went into so many times, because it would just, when I get my setup, and it will break boards. And here is where, where the, and here, the other version I said. If this is your field, sorry, um, no, sorry, this way. If this is your field, you could link these two into Bomber Dragon, and then here's why the last mermaid is important. Link this away into the last mermaid, and Topologic will trigger, and from here you you destroy your opponent's main monster zones. Um, and afterwards, from there, you you, you should have breaking the bo bo both of board or get or getting a setup. But if you go f if you went first and perform this, uh, you you most likely won. Especially when the Eagles booster can protect this card, which uh, happen uh, a lot in, during the event. But yeah, so that's the XX and quick throw by Sidek. Uh, I was playing free share right? This is new Maxi, and it helped really much against every. I uh, almost I did this against uh, every matchup except uh, the light light small matchups. Um, but I saw it. It was really good against Trickster because uh, it would give me a, a pot, It was a pot of greed, but because he would, uh, if he would light light stage into. Uh, Candina, it uh, to to get his reincarnation, which they many times did. Uh, so I would get two cards in hand, so it was really great. Uh, Twin Priestess was also really great. Uh, it's especially versus Draco. Uh, uh, versus Draco uh, and Tricksters, because uh, I would have bait a second reincarnation out uh, with with. With both Misty and, and and Twin Fisters, because I would still keep both, uh, and also and I also cited Red Reboot, but uh, uh, I borrowed him from a friend, so shout out to him. Um, but yeah, Twin Fisters was really good. Well, what can, what can I say? It was uh, it it was against the back row heavy, back row heavy. Well, so I'm glad I didn't play this because uh, many matchups it, it would have been dead. Especially in the Gookie matchup. Uh, for the Gookie matchup, it was Sphere Mode. Uh, never saw this card uh, and I, when I sighted in, but I really like like it when when you see it. So, and the biggest regrets I was playing was the Artifact Engine. It was okay, you thinking because it's it's a card that you can side in when you go first, and it's a card you you can essentially. Uh, Punish your opponent with it because you know they know you're gonna set much, so you want to remove your back row. But it can get ashed, it can get uh, re red rebooted, uh, and such things. So uh, it was not so great, especially when I thought uh, light stage could would 
after the light stage freeze effect would send this card to the graveyard. It could trigger, but no, it didn't. So, yeah, I would definitely would have played. So, yeah, that's the deck I played. Um, I'm really glad I g get to get to what is called Euros th th this year around too. Um, and for Shannon, I have to give it to my, my team, Team Wise Guys. You guys are amazing, you're helping me. Uh, play testing, giving tips and everything, just reading your chat is all, all, always nice and yeah, I get well informed. And then to my union group, uh, Yugi Urebro, uh, without, without their support I w wouldn't have been able to uh, get the cards I wanted at in time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy it and see you next time.